The following report contains some disturbing images. The speed of the jihadis' advance has shocked the Iraqi government and its western allies. This is the road to Tikrit, a town ISIS has now seized by some accounts. ISIS called it a blessed invasion. We will not stop, they say. All this after the prize of Mosul fell into the jihadis' hands. Their black flag now flies over Iraq's second city with two million people. <laughs> These tanks have been burnt and Mosul is now under our control, says an ISIS fighter. An ISIS propaganda video seeks to explain such breathtaking gains. An ambush. The targets are said to be soldiers returning from leave. It's a brutally efficient campaign that has sown terror among government supporters. We can't show much of what's on this video. The jihadis even have their own checkpoints. They have lists with the names of the security forces and officials. In this way, ISIS has been steadily tightening their grip in the north and west of Iraq. A terrified man is led away to be killed. People arrive in Kurdish territory exhausted and demoralized. Getting out of Mosul has been a harrowing experience. There were bodies on the roads and rumors of summary executions by the jihadis. But they are not here only because of ISIS. People here have spoken of a complete collapse in the security forces inside Mosul, of policemen and soldiers simply abandoning their posts and fleeing along with everyone else. And people have come here because they're afraid not just of ISIS, but afraid of what happens next of what the Iraqi government might have to do to get Mosul back from the jihadis. This woman tells me the jihadis told people they had nothing to fear from them. We left because of al-Maliki, the prime minister, she says. He's going to bombard Mosul using warplanes. And indeed, Iraq's prime minister has promised that the jihadi victory in Mosul will not stand. We are dealing with the situation. We are not going to allow this to carry on, regardless of the price. We are getting ready. We are organizing. The roads into Kurdish territory are choked. A few miles back lies the beginnings of the Islamic State ISIS hopes to carve out from Iraq and Syria. The battle to prevent such a state coming into being will be a bloody one. Many more people will flee their homes before it's over. Paul Wood, BBC News, in northern Iraq.